What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, started up a new walkthrough right here. Yeah, must be very nice. Anywho, uh, yes, our last episode, we started off getting ourselves a new Pokemon, Star Fox. And now it is time for us to, uh, you know, continue our adventure right here, taking care of business. You know, the whole shebang. Now, before we take care of business, yes, I want to buy some potions because, yeah, we might we might run into trouble going into any kind of forest areas and all that stuff. And you know what? Pokeballs sound good, too. I would really love to capture Pokemon with different Pokeballs. But right now, we're just going to go... We're, we're going to go with the flow right here. So you go right here, talk to this guy, buy some Pokeballs. I'm going to buy at least five because I know for a fact we're going to get five more, maybe even ten. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anywho. So, let's see. Where do I start? So, yeah. I have already... I have already uh, did some recordings for Pokemon Y uh, a few weeks ago. Look at this. Look at, the, look at the view right here. This is awesome. I have already started, uh, you know... View, uh, what was it? The recordings of Pokemon Y a while back. And it was because... You know, I wanted to get everything ahead of schedule. That way I don't have to, like, do five every single weekend and then, you know, upload them and everything. I kind of wanted to do them in bunch and stuff. Um, so I did mention that with that walkthrough, I did choose Froakie as my starter. And then as I continued the game, yeah, it just, uh, <laughs> it, it just didn't make any sense getting a Froakie yet again, but only doing it with the Kalos Pokemon that I have. As, uh, I, I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode, but in this walkthrough right here, guys, I am only going to be using Kalos Pokemon, and with the team that, I, that I'm planning for, that I want to assemble, it, it's going to make sense. Um, just having, uh, having Froakie as my starter yet again, it just, it, it wouldn't make any sense. Now, as you guys can see, we captured Pidgey. The tiny bird Pokemon, it is docile and prefers to avoid conflict. If disturbed, however, it can ferociously strike back. You know what, let's give it the nickname that we, we know it by. Hurricane. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys. Yeah, I... It didn't make any sense for me to... To to choose Froakie and then leave out some pretty good Pokemon that I, I, I did want to use. So, hopefully... Hopefully in this game right here, we'll 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 see some uh, interesting and a, a whole diverse team. Now, if you walk over here, you're gonna be seeing both your girlfriends, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, hi, Sensei! Come learn how to catch a Pokemon with me." Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, my mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. Whatever you say, baby. So yeah, she's going to be teaching us how to capture Pokemon and all that crud. I'm still going to be talking about what, what's going on right here. Now, I did I did uh, erase the memory on my original Pokemon X walkthrough and all that crud, guys. Uh, but I managed to save all the Pokemon that I've had in that walkthrough, put them in my bank and all that stuff. So there is a chance that you will be seeing the original team here in Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Y eventually at some point. Um... In this game, I want to include a little bit of diversity when it comes to the Kalos Pokemon. Granted, there's only, what, 60, 70 new Pokemon in this game? In my original walkthrough, I captured six generations of Pokemon. And look at this! She caught a Bunnelby. Good for her. Great for her. Fantastic. And, well, she's like, wow! Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. Yeah. Shauna, what do you think your uh, chest pen is inside of right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. And we got ourselves some Pokeballs. Fantastic. Great. Okay. And let's see, Pokeballs, do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Sure, you can catch Pokemon around here just by throwing Pokeballs near them. Okay, I'll find, I, I, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and then we'll make it become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck. That is that is also a fact right here, guys. If you capture a Pokemon right here in this generation moving forward, your Pokemon will earn experience points. Something that they should have uh, yeah, something that they should have added 
from the get-go. I mean, it would have made uh, catching Pokemon interesting, at least. Anywho, let's go ahead and capture some Pokemon. Normally, I like to capture every Pokemon from this area, including the forest area, because they're, they're so diverse. And Zigzagoon right here is looking like a Pokemon I need to capture, and yeah. Here we go. Okay. Stay in the ball, Zigzagoon. Don't be that Pokemon. I am definitely going to be capturing you. Yes. Okay. There it is, guys. Captured ourselves a Zigzagoon. And bam. Look at that. Star Fox. Star Fox. I can't even say that name right. Rose to level 7. And Zigzagoon is just a happy camper. Just happy being there. And would you look at this. A Pokemon with abundant curiosity. It shows an interest in everything, so it always zigzags. Hmm, you don't say. So, are we gonna give the are we gonna give Zigzagoon a nickname? No, or not? We never do. Although I want to see if this is a Zigzagoon that can, um, you know, can help us with uh, with what was it? It's a nope. It's a gluttony. I wanted to pick up. Anywho, let's move on. Boohoo. All right. I'm not going to capture every Pokemon right here, but we're going to start battling. When two trainers meet, uh, eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. Here's the thing. I never met eyes with you, so leave me out of this. Here we go. Taking on youngster Austin. Okay, Austin. You are not Austin 316. But I'm about to make you cry like Austin 316. Not really. He, he never cried. Anywho, let's go with an Ember attack. And... That will take a nice chunk, but here comes a Growl attack that's only going to work for, like, the physical attack here. So, let's go ahead, go straight for the Ember attack. And we're getting there. Okay, kid, why are you lowering my stats? Why didn't you just go... I, 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 who am I to tell my opponents? Ugh, God. And there you go. Zigzagoon has been defeated. And that will increase my my uh, XP a little bit okay let's go inside let's go ahead and uh, take care of business right here so here we are in the Santaloon forest and uh, your friends are gonna be coming up and one of them uh, what was her name again I, I forgot her name huh <laughs> wait up let's walk together I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay next to you I'll heal up your Pokemon whenever you want me to which is great because uh, yeah we're gonna be doing a lot of battles right here um, so the Santaloon Forest, a very interesting place. They did emulate this after the Viridium Forest. You will be able to find some pretty cool Pokemon like Pikachu, the Elemental Monkeys from the Unova region, Caterpie, Weedle, those guys. Um, I think the occasional Zigzagoon and all that crud too. And look at this, we got ourselves a potion. Yeah, I'm here collecting stuff. Now... I'm here trying to figure out what Pokemon am I going to get alongside Star Fox. I want to know. And uh, there's no item right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the handbook right here. And would you look at that? It is a Caterpie. A Caterpie. Alrighty. Caterpie. Or Caterpie. <laughs> I'm just saying Caterpie just to, you know, get people angry right here. And, well... That doesn't work out very well. So let's go one more time with a scratch attack. Eventually we'll find out that, you know, Star Fox is going to be more of a special attacker than anything. And look at this. Getting tackled. Not so good. Let's go with a Pokeball. Capture this Caterpie. You know, we got to increase the levels. We got to, you know, we got to increase the collection here. So there we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. And that's how you do it, guys. Caterpie has been captured. Good for me. Good for you. And, well, let's see. What does this Pokemon entry have to say? So, Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. Its feet have suction cups designed to stick to any surface. Its tenacity or tenaciously climbs uh, trees for forage or to forage. Yeah, not going to nickname that Pokemon. Well, let us move on right here. At this point, we, you know, we might as well capture whatever Pokemon pops up right here. And would you look at this. Our first elemental monkey. Now, let's see. What am I doing in Pokemon X? So, here's what I normally do when it comes to um, games that I play alongside with, guys. 
So, as many of you guys already know, I'm playing, like, I'm finishing up Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Behind the scenes, I was playing Pokemon Omega Ruby. Same thing here with Pokemon Y and X. Um, what I normally do, I play like this, normal, with with uh, the walkthrough video, or the walkthrough game. With the game that I'm playing behind the scenes, I capture anything and everything that is there. I try to complete the Pokedex. Heck, I even use the action replay just to, you know, just to level them up, get them right there. That way I don't have to waste time, you know, easily leveling them up. You know what I mean? And then from there, you know, it's more of completing the, uh, the Pokedex for me rather than just, like, go out there and battle anybody. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves a Pansage, the green or the grass monkey Pokemon. It's good at finding berries and gathers the form uh, or gathers them from all over. It's kind of enough to share with its friends. Hmm, pretty cool. Fantastic. So, yes, we use the action replay for that stuff. And um, there we go. We're all healed up and ready to go. And the funny thing is, guys, I have a lot of fun playing both games and then trading the Pokemon and all that stuff because as a kid, never really had that. I only had one game, one Game Boy, one system, and I couldn't trade anything. In fact, I only finished up at, uh, like, what, 156, 46 Pokemon, I should say? I think that was the, the, the limit in red, white, or red, yellow, and blue. And, well, we walk here, and look what I found, Sensei. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. And here we get ourselves a paralysis heal. That's always good. And, well, let's go ahead and move on. But with two systems, oh, yes. I trade Pokemon like crazy. I like to see the different types of uh, trading. And, well, in this in this kind of uh, era of what I'm trying to do now, being a little bit more instructive with how you evolve Pokemon and all that stuff, yeah, I will be showing footage of how to trade Pokemon um, or what evolutions go through trade and all that stuff here in X and Y, especially Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. And uh, I don't know, whatever comes to mind... Whatever comes to mind, I will uh, I will also feature. As many of you guys already know, I am not I am not doing anything on the Pokemon Journeys HD channel anymore. I'm not going to divert you guys here and there. We're doing hack videos here, and uh, I think the House of Draven it, channel is just right there for no reason. So there's no reason for any of that stuff except just to do it right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel because. What, what's the point of having an extra channel if you're not going to put the attentions to it? Now, if you talk to this girl, she will be giving you another Pokeball, which is fantastic because you can never run out of Pokeballs. And we're going to be battling the girls here. Alrighty. Let's go. Here we go. Taking on Last Anna. And she's coming out with a Pikachu. And funny how Pikachu appears... After you battle this girl. I kind of find it funny. So, here we go. Star Fox. Go. Oh, my God. That is not going to work. And here comes a Tail Whip. Oh, my God. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and go with an Ember Attack right here. And just like that, Pikachu has been defeated. Alrighty. And Star Fox just getting some points right here. Okay. Alrighty. And, uh, well, Last Anna is not happy about losing to me, but still. It's the name of the game. Alrighty. Let's move forward right here. And she, uh, well, yeah. Our friend here is so happy that we got so many Pokemon. It is true. Okay, so we're taking on Last Lise. Lise. And, uh, well. Let's go right ahead and kick some butt and take some names right here. Alright, Weedle. You will never touch me because I got the Ember attack. And Weedle defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and uh, let's see. Bunnelby. It's another Pokemon right there. Now, again, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what other Pokemon I can use. Now, when I was playing with the original copies or the original footage of our Pokemon Y walkthrough... The fire Pokemon, the two fire Pokemon that I was thinking of using was Lit Leo and uh, Fletchling. Tried Fletchling first, worked out well, but then I changed, you know, Draven has a change of heart, so he wants to go to Lit Leo. Never did a footage of. There we go. I never did a footage 
with Litleo afterwards because it was like I had a bitter taste in my mouth and it was like, okay, you know what? I need to change this. I need to do something different because there's no point in doing two walkthroughs with Froakies. Especially if you're just trying to do what? A walkthrough with just Kalos Pokemon. And well, look at this. Got ourselves a potion. Always nice. And we're going to get attacked again by a Pokemon. Will it be a Pikachu? Yes, it is. Alrighty. So, it's a female Pikachu, and I kind of need it for right now. And are you serious? Oh, my God. That was doing so well. Uh, okay, let's try this again. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, let's try this again. Found ourselves a Pikachu after capturing ourselves uh, another elemental monkey. We might pay for this. Told you. Not to worry. We got a we got Shana who will heal us up right here. But we need a Pikachu because, well, this next gym requires us to have an electric type Pokemon or something. So let's go right ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Again, using I am using uh, Kalos specific Pokemon right here. But from the beginning, we're gonna need we're gonna need the extra reinforcements. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Pikachu female, and look at us. Star Fox grows to level 11, and it learned how. So this is gonna increase its physical attack right here. And here we're getting Pikachu female. It has small electric sacs on both of its cheeks. If threatened, it loses electric charges from its sacs. And since it's a female, we're going to be calling this Pokemon the name that we all love. I bequeath to you the name Aaliyah after my baby girl, Aaliyah. That's right. Uh, I don't know if she's watching my walkthrough, but if you are, baby, this is for you. Bam. And uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, crap. It's going to the box. Okay, so it went to the box. And before... Yes, let's heal up the Pokemon before we... You end up, like, taking, the, taking it away. But look at this. We end up getting to the very end, and the Pokemon Rangers here. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor has uh, is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move is just incredible. I want... I want to show off, uh, I want to show off this, that spirit when I dance. Tierno. Could you think about something, uh, something besides how Pokemon move for once? Kinda. We're all here! Let's go to Santaloon City. Alright, Pokemon Rangers, let's go. Yeah, we, we're basically the Power Rangers of, of Pokemon. So, here we are in Route 3 over at Way. And Sean is gonna be asking, what are you all gonna do? Why I look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex after all, and furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it in another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you gonna do, Serena? I'm gonna go to Santaloon City's gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in the gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because my mom and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different steps every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Okay, well, that's awesome. Too bad I'm never gonna read it, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's still something. Uh, if you're puzzled about something, try looking for these rules. And, well, Sean is like, oh, this is great. I'm going to spend some, uh, some time getting to know my little chessman. What are you going to do, Sensei? Take over the world. Okay, so we're going to finish off right here by beating everybody. And I mean everybody in this whole route. Okay. So who's next? Preschooler, uh, Preschooler Oliver, and he's going to come out with a Caterpie right here. That is no good for her. Well, that is the worst thing that this Pokemon trainer can do. Because Star Fox is about to have its way with these Caterpies right here. Now, as we're going into Route 3 over at Wade, the Pokemon you'll be able to find here, now if the handbook can stay still, 
Uh, it's coming out with an Azuril. Holy crud. Yes. So Azuril, Bidoof, Bunnelby, Burmy, Dunsparce, Fletchling, P uh, Pikachu, and PG. These are some of the P uh, Pokemon you'll be able to find in this area right here. Now, if you are fishing, Magikarp, Corphish, Goldeen, Crawdon, Gyarados Seeking. These are all the Pokemon you can find in this area too. And by surfing, you'll be able to find a Meryl and a Mescal Rain. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. Keep your eyes peeled for all these Pokemon. And, uh, well, I'm going to continue battling. You know, it would be really nice to have a Pikachu right about now. But, you know, I did the mistake of uh, capturing a sixth Pokemon. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my bad right there. Okay. So here we are taking on Pichu, and Star Fox is about to go get at it. There we go. And Pichu, look at that. It survived the attack. And, well, we're going to go straight for a an Ember attack right here. And just like that, Pichu has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. All righty. Okay. All right. So, let's see, who is next? What kind of Pokemon should I capture? I don't know, but once you go through here, somebody's gonna be like, coming through! Okay, people have no manners. I'm gonna continue battling people because, well, I need I need to train. And, well, we're gonna be taking on Bridget, and she will be coming out with our Lord and Savior, Bidoof. The Lord and Savior, Bidoof. And uh, Flet or uh, a Star Fox is looking all mean and everything. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. And there we go. Bidoof defeated. And we're getting some more points. Bridget, not happy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Future champ in the making. Okay, let's see. Who's next? There's. I don't think she battles. And we will be able to get ourselves a super potion here. And there will be... Yeah, there's one more trainer upstairs. But there's a big old booty right there. There is a Bunnelby loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to beat this Bunnelby. Not really. We're going to we're gonna try and capture it because I believe there is a spot where you can trade a Bunnelby. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, so that Bunnelby lowers our defense. Last last thing we used was a Pokeball, so let's go right ahead and do that. And, well, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we caught ourselves a Bunnelby. Now, what does Bunnelby do here? Huh, let's see. So here we have Bunnelby, the digging Pokemon. It has ears like shovels, digging holes, strengthening its ears to so much that they are they can sever thick roots effortlessly. Ain't that the truth? Okay, so we're going to not nickname this Pokemon just yet. Or ever. I don't know. Whatever it is. And we're going to battle this guy. The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. That is true. So very, very true. And here we're taking on Schoolboy Brighton. And he will be coming out with his... Uh, with, it, with his elemental monkey himself. Alrighty. We're gonna go with Star Fox. And Star Fox, let's go with an Ember attack here. And look at that. Looky, looky. Pansage, not happy. Star Fox, growing levels. Pants here. Yeah, I wish I could use a different Pokemon right now, but like, this is, this is the only one I got. So what we gotta do is go with the Howl attack. And this will increase the physical attack of our Pokemon while we're getting hit. And yes, Draven being very, very, very strategic. Here we go, scratch attack. That takes out Pants here. Holy buckets. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, we go to level 12. And who is next? Pampor. Now, this is our weakness. This is where we need the Pikachu. Let's go right ahead. Scratch attack. And there we go. You see? Draven no dumbass. Draven knows what to do. And Brighton has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, I think that's pretty much it before we go into a battle here. 
Um, okay, stop getting in the way. She is not a trainer, but here we are in Santaloon City. Now, before we finish off, let's go into the Pokemon Center, guys. You enter the Pokemon Center, your buddy, I think Tierno, that's his name. Oh, hey there, Sensei. Oh, you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon Centers are uh, sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the co counter and have her heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to the PC when you've uh, caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. And he's dancing. Oh yeah, Sensei. There's a Pokemon in the back of the Pokemon Center too. It's also it's a great gri uh, it's a good idea to stop stock up on Pokemon and potions and stop and stuff at the Pokemon uh, Pokemart. Wow, can't read right now. Okay, so here we are, guys. We're gonna stop right here. In the next episode, we will be going through most of Santaloon City and. Hopefully earning ourselves our first badge right here. So thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.